to give on a unit economic sense, uh, the diesel buses cost about uh, uh, capital cost is about a 1.3 crore rupees to buy a diesel bus uh, versus electric buses about roughly 1.7 1.8 crore. Um, and to run the operational expenditure, the diesel bus extremely high. Only the fuel cost, as I mentioned, is about is about seven lakh rupees to only the diesel cost uh, for a 30 days of operation between Hyderabad to Bangalore and coming back. So uh, whereas electric bus would be like significantly cheaper, it'll be like a one fifth of the cost. You'll be able to run the uh, the the uh, the electric bus. So that's a significant cost comparison which was left on the table i know the capex is high i know we have to invest on the infrastructure of charging stations on both the ends and even on the midpoints but still uh, if i take as a long term view this makes a lot of sense uh, from a unit economics perspective i think if you can run it right i think it takes about uh, the complete asset can be recovered in 41 months okay uh, yeah that's the if you can we have to use a lot of technology to make the assets sweat and get the occupancies right. So with the combination of the occupancy fair, uh, then if you also utilize the vehicle well, uh, mm -hmm. sweat, you know, sweat the asset in terms of not running the route from A to B and B to A, A to and B, B to A. So you have to run the asset in such a way that, you know, wherever the, wherever you can get the yield, more yield, you have, mm -hmm. to, you have to turn around the vehicle in that fashion. So if you can make that right, I think you will be able to get this done in like 41 months. But I think uh, we're working on so much of technology so that we can compress the timeline to even shorter. I think, see, first and foremost is the uh, the battery capacity um, for us and the and the battery uh, associated with. So so we choose the top five manufacturers, the CATLs, BYDs, um, or a or a Sky Source. So these are the companies whom we completely rely on the top five manufacturers in China. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and the, and also the size of the battery. So to run a uh, electric bus uh, of a, of a, uh, we need about a one kilowatt will give us about a one kilometer of a mileage. So if I have to run uh, a distance of about 400 kilometers, then I need at least a 425 kilowatt battery pack. That's the first first and foremost. And also the definitely the weight of the bus matters, the quality of the bus matters, and a manufacturer matters. The rest of it, I think, because all of it, that system engineering uh, uh, of all the motor to the, uh, the powertrain to the BMS and all will draws to the final end point of the power consumption. So one kilowatt is equal to one kilometer. If it's drawing too much of power uh, for a one kilometer, then something uh, is wrong where we have to invest a lot of more charging points in between to charge or uh, reduce the distance. So that's how I think the finally the end goal is to get to one kilowatt half one kilometer run is what how we look at this. Uh, that's how we choose the ROEMs. So we work with Electra, uh, the, the BYD and CATL are partners with them. And uh, we work with um, uh, JVM uh, from Delhi and we work with Exponent and we work with Azad. So these are the four companies currently whom we are working with for the uh, intercity coach buses. The, the, the battery tech there is basically, um, so we use about a 420 kilowatt battery uh, in Exponent buses. Exponent has partnered with Vira. Yeah. Uh, so the uh, it's a 13 and a half meter sleeper bus and we are launching the first one uh, with fresh bus. So the, the basically 420 kilowatt battery pack uh, is we will be charging with 1.5 megawatt charger. Okay. So that will be charged in 15 minutes. So despite, as I said, the mechanics of 650 kilometers, I will use the fast charging in between and enable the longer route. That's how we are working on that solution. So we work both the models. Actually, we have partners with uh, Vertelo, uh, Vertelo, which is a Macquarie um, platform. And uh, so uh, they lease out the buses for us. They buy the assets and what are the OEM choice we make? They buy the assets and lease it to us. And uh, on the charge point, we partner with charge zones of the world or uh, maybe Macquarie also and static. These are the companies whom we work with for enabling the charging exclusively for us. And this yeah. is only for your captive usage. 
yes captive and we are partners if the charge point operators can get any ad additional form factors of the trucks or the uh, or the cars and other two wheeler three wheelers but the bus is exclusively for us so the uh, srtcs the governments are getting a, a fame one fame two a capex subsidy of about 85 lakhs on fame one and 55 lakhs on fame two uh, but uh, for private operators there's no capex subsidy as such but the government of india has exempted uh, uh, the uh, uh, national permit which is about a 3 lakh rupees per month uh, per year so that is exempted that's the only benefit what we are getting from the government of india but yes there are state governments are encouraging us to sort of run these and uh, so the state governments are giving an incentive of the taxation the the home tax uh, where we pay it on a per quarterly basis if they are exempted that is about a relief of about six and a half seven lakh rupees so in total uh, private operators are getting about us 10 lakh rupees as a subsidy per bus per annum we need solutions to make the longer distance 650 kilometer uh, on a single charge or even interim charge fast charging then i think you will be able to solve a 90 95 percent of the indian routes uh, without that, otherwise you are you have to figure out what routes to apply. Uh, well within that range, that's a bigger uh, that's a concern. And also uh, the uh, enabling a charging station is is something which is a tedious task uh, because these are not small chargers where you have to invest a 240 kilowatt charger to you know 500 kilowatt charger to 1.5 megawatt. Then you have to get a similar power line drawn. Uh, and you need a transformer, you have LT panels and then draw the power. And there's a huge, huge capex investment which is required to uh, set up these. Uh, if you don't really plan well, right, a small operators like two bus guy can't afford this. So yeah. these are the clear uh, uh, ground challenges out there. But yeah, obviously, despite if you solve this again, there's a demand problem which you have to fill the buses, right? So that's also there. So it's a complete comprehensive a solution somebody has to think about if they're thinking in in this direction